All right, welcome back to another edition of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Uh, I'm Mike Dragonetti, and today's segment, we're going to cover swing doors. Uh, it's an older style door uh, being phased out by the slide doors that we saw in previous videos. Uh, the key characteristic and dis uh, different distinction about this door is the actual keyhole. Uh, you need a specialty key in order to open up this door. This is called a GAL or GAL uh, barrel key, swing door key. Um, this, the, the unique part about this key is at the end of the barrel key, you'll see a little protrusion piece sticking out. What we want to do is we want to line up that protrusion piece with the cutout inside the lock. You're going to see a little recessed uh, uh, cutout. Once we line the key up with that cutout, we're going to just Push in just a slight bit with the handle on my hand. I'm just going to give it a quarter turn. You're going to feel the door release. Take the key out. We're going to do our peekaboo and then hold what we got. One thing I want to point out also about this uh, key, uh, depending on the usage it gets, uh, sometimes the end of this uh, key, the protrusion piece, can actually wear down. And if that's a problem and it does uh, break off or eventually wear down to the point where it's not going to make contact with the groove that's inside the door lock. Uh, so we need another uh, option of possibly getting that, uh, that key to work uh, or use something different. So our next option would be is to use a pick tool. Uh, the pick tool I have in my hand is made out of spring steel. It's basically an electrician snake that you pull wires with that we cut into a 7 to 8 inch piece uh, with a slight bend on it. Um, again, this was another tool that was invented by a New York City firefighter. Just kind of ended up uh, that these guys are going on uh, numerous elevator runs and they come up with all these different ideas and we're just sharing that information. So this pick tool is going to be bent at a 45 degree angle and what I want to do here is on a floor where there is no keyhole we're not going to have that key but we want to take this pick tool and slide it up this brass plate to get into the lock. Now once I feel the lock shifting I'm just going to slowly walk it out. If it doesn't work the first time, just get a little bend in it. All right, we're going to just slowly get it up underneath the plate, into the lock. Do your peekaboo, and we're off to the races. Okay, so just to show you what the pick tool is actually doing, again, we're going to slide the tool up under the plate, and what we want to do is we want to get it through the staple. So one of two things you can do, you can either ride the pick tool, down the back of the staple, or we can just dig into the latch, and the latch is right here. So under that staple, through the, through the staple, we can either push in, or we're going to ride it along the back, and that'll walk it over. So this is our objective. Under the plate, through the staple, pushing the latch back. All right, so in this segment, we showed you the swing door, we showed you key access, uh, we showed you a backup plan of using the uh, GAL pick tool. Um, definitely you want to have multiple ways of uh, getting through this door. Very important that before we proceed, manual access to a hoistway door, that the power is turned off, locked and tagged out, and confirmed by the motor room team. My name is Mike Dragonetti, and thank you for tuning in for Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.